never seen anything quite so beautiful. It's, it's incredible. Hi everyone, well, <laughs> just want to wish you a uh, blessed new year as we go into 2021. Obviously, we found ourselves in the third national lockdown, which is uh, almost like Groundhog Day, you know. We keep waking up and we don't seem to be able to get out of this cycle no matter what. We've got these new strains now. Apparently there's new strains in South Africa, which I don't know what you guys think about this. I have my own opinions. Um, I'm going to be honest and say that I'm genuinely concerned about the world. Um, I hope to God that um, the only reason for this new normal is COVID. I hope to God that there is not some underlying reason apart from COVID, uh, only time will tell. But I wanted to um, tell you about something that I found last year during lockdown to be absolutely wonderful, really therapeutic and, and extremely good for your mental health. So. When lockdown first began, I'd just come out of hospital, I wasn't very well, and I was self-isolating in our old camper van at the back of the house. Um, thank God the owners of that land at the back allowed us to basically put the van on there, and that became my home, which is probably one of the reasons why we've ended up living in a van, because you realise you can actually live in them, which is where we are now. Um, but right at the beginning of lockdown, about April-ish time, I just felt that I, all my life I'd wanted to, to, um, to develop film uh, and, and to learn how to take pictures with, you know, old film cameras. And I just felt that the lockdown was the perfect time to explore that. So basically what I did, I went onto Facebook Marketplace and I just started to look through it. And I found this old fella, really lovely man, that had had in his loft boxes and boxes of cameras that he just wanted to get rid of. And the, the advertisement was, um, everything was untested, so it was dirt cheap. And there must have been, I don't know, because to be honest, I've not even worked through them all yet. There must have been 60 odd cameras, uh, film cameras. And I just took a risk. I, I looked, I zoomed in on the, all the cameras that he got and I, 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 look, I could see that one or two, if they were working, would have been worth quite a bit of money. And if only one of them worked, it would have paid for the entire lot. Well, as it happened, about 80% of them worked. The main thing that was wrong with most of them was uh, the battery contacts just wanted to be, you know, cleaned up and, and whatnot. So, so over lockdown, from about April onwards, I began to put, do my own diary based on film. And the idea was 
that I would do my own log, our family kind of log of, of lockdown. And because nobody was developing film at the time, I'd only be able to see it once lockdown was finished. So, the, you know, it was kind of, um, in many ways, film photography forces you to be patient. Uh, a bit like gardening forces you to be patient. You can't kind of, you can't, you can't whip a load of seed and expect it to, to, to grow quicker. You know, it just does, doesn't work like that. Um, and the same with film photography, the whole process is so much slower and it really is, I found to be a, a really therapeutic, peaceful thing. And, and what it enabled me to do was meditate on things that were good. Because, you know, when we got into the middle of the year and we got all those riots going on and all the craziness that was going on last year, I was picking up the, the, the cameras. I mean, this was the one that kicked it off for me. This is not actually my camera. This is my daughter's camera. But um, I got her this for her 21st birthday. And to be honest, never really, neither of us, neither, neither Abby nor me ever really bothered with it. But I got her this for her 21st birthday and, um, I, and I never used it. So during this lockdown, we, we, we began, because Abby had, had come back from university, we began to look through these cameras and um, look through these cameras that I bought and, and try and get them working. So this, this was the one that kicked it all off. Um, this Olympus 35 SP, absolutely beautiful camera. And I have to say, um, I know it's my daughter's camera, uh, we've used it together. I've, I've shot about three films through it. I think she's shot one. It is the most beautiful camera I have ever, ever used in my life. And the images were astonishing. So we use lockdown to kind of just do some family pictures and, and, and try and, and capture memories. And what I found and I don't know whether this is just in, my, in your head, psychological, I don't know what it is, but when you take a picture on film, the memory automatically seems much more precious. I, I, and I don't quite know why. You know, I know we live in an instamatic age, we want everything now. And this whole process of taking, taking pictures slows you down and makes you think and it, it makes you think about the composition because you know you've got 36 exposures you can't waste one so it makes you just slow down and think is that a picture worth taking um is the lighting all right for that picture and it just slows you down completely and so what i was what i wanted to do as part of our kind of van life thing, is to just share with you some of the uh, um, experiences I've had with some of these cameras. Some of them worked immediately. Um, when I, in the 90s, I had a, a Ricoh FF9, that was my film camera. And would you believe it, as part of this box that I bought, there was a Ricoh FF9 in there, the very camera I, I was using in the 90s, and it just blew me, it worked straight away as soon as I put a battery in it, beautiful camera. So we took pictures in black and white, uh, got to a point where we even managed to develop our own, which was a great feeling, a great feeling. Um, I got, friendly with, uh, I joined a, a film photography Facebook group and there was a guy on there who got a hold of me and he said, what do you need for developing? I said, well, I haven't got anything. He sent me everything through the post, this is during lockdown, to, ha to, to enable me to do film developing. It, it, unbelievable. So during the whole of lockdown, you know, I was taking pictures on various cameras, this one being my favorite. Um, cameras that I'd, I'd acquired along the way, like this one and 
and uh, there was quite a few Olympuses in, in that um, in that collection. Some of which I've gotten working and sold. I've actually made quite a bit of money off this this box of cameras, and I've still probably got I don't know 45, 50. There was about 60 in there. So I just I just wanted to um, share. Uh, my experiences if any of you guys have thought about doing film photography I was a total newbie to it like complete beginner and there are certain things that I wish I'd heard from the beginning so I'll be talking about kind of things to avoid and, and stuff but I was going to start to upload through this lockdown and wherever the heck this thing leads to um, some reviews on some of these old film cameras, whether they're worth getting or not. The first one I'm going to put up is this absolutely beautiful Olympus rangefinder. Um, I'll put that up in a couple of weeks. Um, I've got enough pictures to show you as a kind of re review. I can't develop film because we're in a, a camper van now, so it's difficult to develop film, but I've got enough pictures to, to do reviews on. Yeah, so I've got I've I've got reviews from cameras like this, which um, you know, just unbelievably good. Point and shoots, um, some of the very first SLRs, um, and what they like to use. And like I say, I am a I am a novice. I'm not a pro or anything like that, but I can't tell you the joy I had. So now we're going into another lockdown. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting some more film in. So here's the Olympus SP. It's absolutely beautiful camera. It's Abby's camera. I'm keeping it hold of it for her because I've given her, I think, three cameras to get used to some of the easier SLRs while she gets used to the easier ones. And then once she's used to them, she can... Uh, she can have a go at this one because it's not as easy as the others. But anyway, folks, it's time to record some more memories. This is only cheap film. It's not it's not expensive by any stretch. It's cheap film. I, I did use um, the trouble is I need glasses these days. I really do need glasses. I did use um, some quite expensive film at one point as well. I used some Kodak Ekta. Um, see, you know when the film's biting because the spool goes round. There you go. I'll just take one more. There you go. That's ready now. That's ready. So I'm going to be shooting with that. I won't get the results of that until we've gotten through this lockdown. I know it's a nightmare, folks. I know we're all going through a really rubbish time at the moment. Um, this is just something that kind of took my mind off it for a bit, you know, and helps you to concentrate on good things, you know, and taking pictures of good things, memories, good memories, and the whole process of doing it. It's such a slow, beautiful, methodical, uh, poetical process. There's something about going back to film which just gives you an enormous sense of satisfaction. So take care, guys, and uh, and God bless. And, you know, as, as they used to say in the Second World War, keep calm and carry on.